In this episode, we unlock the secrets to peak effectiveness by understanding the powerful connection between your thoughts, emotions, and actions. We delve into how your brain works as a neuroelectrical interface, linking your mind with your body and emotions. Learn how your thoughts shape your reality and how mastering the chain of thought emotion sensation can empower you to make conscious, effective decisions. We'll discuss practical tips for self-management and how to avoid the pitfalls of reactive thinking, enabling you to achieve the success you desire. Hello, I'm Dr. Zed, and welcome to the Being You podcast, where we dive into life's deepest questions so that you can awaken to the abundance of your natural state of being. Decoding success, unleashing the power of your mind in achieving peak effectiveness. If your effectiveness and therefore your success is dependent on how you think, it's important to understand how that thinking organ we call the brain works and functions. To build your effectiveness, you will need to understand the link between your thoughts, emotions and sensations and how they can either support or sabotage your attempts to reach your desired state. Your brain is an essential organ for life and an important conduit of your experience. A neuroelectrical interface that connects your mind's awareness with your body and emotions. As an interface, your brain facilitates the sharing and exchange of information between your mind, energy, and matter components, expressed as three main types of perception. One, psychological. These are your thoughts, such as ideas, images, insight, inspiration, memory, foresight, beliefs, and creativity. Two, physiological. These are your emotions, which include fear, anxiety, love, pleasure, and pain, and empathy. Three, Physical, these are your sensations which encompass the five senses, fight and flight responses, instincts, reflexes, immunity and movement. Thought, emotion and sensation. Although on the surface, thoughts, emotions and sensations appear to be different, they are in fact not distinct from one another. Just as three colors, red, green and blue, create the spectrum of colors you see on a TV or computer screen, so too your thoughts, emotions, and sensations create the spectrum of experience you see on the screen of your mind. All three forms are just variations of your perceptual awareness appearing to be dissimilar, but they are not. They are just different vibrational levels of perception communicating information that, when mixed together, are interpreted as an experience in a particular moment in time and space. For our purposes, though, we will discuss thoughts, emotions, and sensations as individual parts of a three-in-one system, like links in a chain. The chain of thought, emotion, sensation. Every action first begins as a thought. It is perhaps more accurate to say that every action first begins with your imagination, because you use your conscious imagination to energize and bring to life all your thoughts and ideas. These thoughts and ideas only exist because they are first conceived in your consciousness and born in your imagination. From imagination, your thoughts and ideas present on the screen of your mind as psychological energy packets or images. These energetic thought images then trigger a physiological response, which you experience as emotive energy, an emotion. These emotive energy packets in turn trigger a physical response, often felt bodily as activity or movement. A physical sensation. This physical sensation then triggers an urge or impulse to take an action or encourage a behavioral response. There is therefore a direct flow of energy transition from your thoughts to your emotions to your actions. Thought energy, emotive energy, physical energy. You can do an experiment right now to instantly experience this chain of thought emotion sensation. Think of a time last summer when the mosquitoes were out in force. Recall how you were being bitten by the mosquitoes. Also recall how itchy the bites were on your ankles, arms, and neck. How do you feel now? Can you feel an itchy sensation? Do you have an urge to scratch? Responsible thinking. The mosquitoes are no longer real, but the reactions to your thoughts about them are very real. In my book, The Flea Circus, I discuss how this has implications for how you think, feel, and react every day. If you don't recognize and take responsibility for the role you play in creating your moment-to-moment -moment life experience, then you condemn yourself 
to repeating past mistakes and failing to break through your barriers. When you perform any action with consideration and thought, you act consciously. You ably respond with responsible action. If, however, you perform an action without due consideration or thought, you react subconsciously, which is a reflex or a reactive habit. As you would assume, conscious, responsible action is the kind of self-leadership that builds effectiveness, whereas unconscious, habitual reactions generally limit effectiveness. There is no point in blaming others, God, or circumstances for your current experience. It's actually disempowering and self-defeating. To use excuses and to blame others is to live your life unconsciously, which ultimately results in poor self-management and the failure to build effectiveness with the inevitable consequence of failing to live the life you want. The interplay of thoughts, emotions, and sensations. There are probably hundreds of times in the past when you wished you could take back what you had said to someone, or you wished you had stopped yourself from doing what you had done. Or there may be times when you wish you had spoken up instead of remaining silent, or you wish you had taken a different course of action than the one you had. To better understand the chain of thought, emotion, sensation playing out in your mind thousands of times each day, let's use an imaginary scenario of sending an email that our fictional character, Sally, later regretted. Sally is a graphic designer who had just received an email from an ungrateful client refusing to pay the invoice for the service she had provided. The client is unhappy, they write, with the redesign of the logo they had requested. They then proceed to list all their grievances with the quality of Sally's service. Sally, having been up past midnight working on the project to meet the client's unrealistic deadline, immediately thinks that the client is being unreasonable and unfair. How dare they? Don't they know how much work I've put into this project? She grumbles, unaware that the chain of thought emotion sensation has now been set into motion. Number one, thought link, I am right. They are wrong. Almost instantly, Sally's aggrieved thought turns into an aggrieved emotion. Anger. Number two. Emotion link. I'm so angry at him, she now begins to feel perspiration beading on her brow. Her heart is now racing, and she is even clenching her jaw. Number three. Sensation link. I feel hot under the collar. Sally's psychological, physiological, and physical state has gone from all is okay this fine morning, to I'm going to murder someone in a fraction of a second. At this point, Sally is in danger of doing something she might regret later on, which she does. Oblivious to the red flags, Sally types a reply to the client's email, letting him know just what she thinks of his miserly attitude and unrealistic expectations. Even writing her own list of grievances with him as a client. The second she hits send, however, she is swamped with thoughts of regret triggering another chain reaction of thought, emotion, sensation. Number one, thought link, I shouldn't have done that. Number two, emotion link, I'm going to pay for this. Number three, sensation link, I feel sick in the stomach. Sally's fluctuating thoughts, emotions and feelings have all occurred before her morning cup of coffee has even cooled. The rest of the day is still yet to be played out. Unbeknown to her, Sally has suffered from her own lack of awareness of what's going on inside to her own detriment. What Sally needs and what will help her in the future when another Mr. Grumpy pays her a visit, which he surely will, is to fully understand the chain of thought emotion sensation. Had she been aware of the links between her thoughts and actions, she would have better self-managed her response and built greater effectiveness for herself and for her client. Awareness exercise. What are some instances where you said or did something or didn't say or do something that you later regretted? Try to recall what you were thinking, what emotions you had, and what you were physically feeling at that time. If you enjoyed the content in this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting for more insights. Thank you.